Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Rim World. So far, so good. Life is going okay. And I'm hopeful that it will continue to go okay. But we're going to have to find out for ourselves. Oh my god, I got a 16 text messages in a row here. We, we have some issues we need to sort out ASAP. I still need to sort out that apparel issue, like everybody's wearing tattered apparel and nobody's making clothes. It's a problem. We probably need chairs for these guys, but I, uh, I want to make sure the conduits get installed. Our primary constructor might actually be Mathis. It is. So I'm going to have him go back to growing before constructing. And then we can just assign the construction of the conduits, but I think Kevin just goes for it anyway. Um, where did that... Oh, it was the cooler, right. I was like, where did that wall go? Kevin's cooking, he's constructing. He's getting components? This is your number one priority for steel. You're gonna grab the steel from out there. Do we really, like, we ran out of steel inside of here? Maybe we've been using a little bit more than I, uh... Than I'd like to admit. It seems like we have. That's a real bummer. Um, is Kevin our number one hauler, by the way? Who's our number one hauler? Kalisti. And she's doing it. She's hauling potatoes into our kitchen. This is important. Very important, actually. Construction failed. Fantastic. kalisti has got a minor break risk. Probably tattered clothes. Yeah, wearing worn out apparel. Ugly environment. I mean, we're working on it. Slowly but surely. You, you, like, I understand you got a lot on the go. We kind of have bigger priorities in terms of our hauling than, like, a single bit of marble and also moving this shit out of here. Like, maybe that's my bad, but I, I kind of feel like you should prioritize food first. And I sort of feel like that's obvious, but in game terms, obvious is, is a hard thing to quantify. You really, like, just have not built the last conduit here? Am I missing something? Why would you not have power? Are you turned off? You're really not connected. I guess we need one there. I thought the I thought the gun turret sort of served as a conduit. I suppose not. That's okay. Minor break risk on Kalisti. Disturb sleep. Mood is is fairly solid, I would say. Dan's planting, as is, you know, his prerogative. I would really like to get this stuff inside. Spoils in one season. You know, one season... It can happen really quick. Maybe I'm gonna have Dan also focus... Like, because he's growing more than he's uh, hauling right now. Maybe I'm going to have Dan move to a 3 for growing. And Callisti should probably be a 0. And I should probably be a 0. And we'll just, you know, sometimes less is more. Research is getting done, which I think is good. But, like, this shit has to get hauled inside. It's getting rained on. It's losing HP. There we go. So we're hauling some potatoes in here. We'll probably lose some. I'll take that as, you know, like a small price to pay for maybe refactoring right. So now she's hauling granite chunks, but this is not what I want you to do. I want you to bring these the food inside where it can live in the freezer. The granite is lower priority. The hops are the lowest priority out of all the food, but still higher priority than the granite, because at some point we will get this brew table built. And then, you know, we're, we're going to want to produce beer for a joy bonus. I mean, we've been... We've had the ability to produce beer for a long time, but it's not really worth all that much. Um, now go haul these potatoes. And I'm, I'm not as concerned about these ones because these ones are not going to get rained on, so their HP is going to remain solid, but still. The problem is we've got a lot of stuff to haul because we've been neglecting it for a while. Now that we have no wind turbine here, we could probably build a better kill box. Um, we should also have a priority on mining to try to get some compacted steel... Try to get, not not even compacted steel, just steel. So, um, let's issue a mining order. I think Dan likes to mine. So, if he takes this as a high priority order, I think that's a really good thing for us. 
Yeah, I'm a little bit happier with the way things are going now. Callista, where are you going? Hauling cloth t-shirt. This is good. I'd like our hospital to be cleaner. And Dan is cleaning. Before he goes to bed. And who's awake at night? Oh, it's me and Dan, right? So Dan's not going to go to bed soon, probably. Um, minor break risk, Dan Giesling. In the dark? Not in the dark. It's clothes, man. I really... Next episode, we have to figure out clothes. Where are you going now? A little bit of dirt. Okay, so good. Disturb their sleep. Sorry, there's a little patch of dirt on the ground, so... It seems like with dirt as a... Er, sorry, with cleaning as a number one priority, it really interrupts the efficiency of other work. It's good... I mean, research finished into the moisture pump. Um, let's, let's get working on how to make coffee. You know, we have the drug lab built. This seems like decent quality research. Um, just gonna go for a walk. Oh, disassembling mechanoid! The fact that I am working on other stuff is pretty cool right now. I think we're getting some good stuff going here. So what, what do you have when you disassemble a mechanoid? 40 steel, a component, 25 plasteel, but we're not actually harvesting the hands of the, uh, of the mechanoids. Why is that? I mean, we can make guns, which we probably should worry about. I think. Um, okay. The, tomorrow, Callista, you gotta get this hops. We have struck compacted steel. No kidding. Um, but we need to, uh, we need to get this hops inside just in case we ever decide that, hey, like, we've researched making beer. Maybe making beer would be a good decision. So Callista is probably gonna eat. And then she's gonna haul. And again, getting this tribal wear in there is important, but get the stuff that has HP in first. You know, we have... Enough space in our freezer to hold a ton of food. Major break risk, Dan Giesling. Very ugly environment. Well, that's this shit needs to go. Yeah, it, just when he's walking through the pile of old ass, you know, steel and slag chunks that he's like, life sucks. Okay, these have got to go. Get, there we go. We got the hops inside. We still got potatoes that need to be taken care of. Um, Kevin. The conduit is built. I'm super confused now. But it must just be an oversight. Identical thing already exists here. Okay, Kevin, go go construct, please. And Callisti's gonna work on hauling, but she's she's not a very good hauler, in my opinion. She she makes bad decisions for, for what should be hauled. Oh, I guess we never issued a hauling order on this slag. I don't know why slag is specific. Um, I'm assuming there's actually a great reason for that that I'm just not aware of um, in my in my idiocy. So we have a heat wave. A passive cooler costs 50 wood. We can't build it out of anything else. It's gonna get hot. That's basically that's gonna be a mood penalty. Assuming that we can keep our colonists alive, and I think we have enough coolers that it should be reasonable. Like it's 38, it's 28 in this room. It's gonna climb though, um, and it's. 22 in there, 28, 28, 28. Um, might be good for us to build another cooler. 48, 35. 35 is, is pretty hot. As far as temperatures go, like temperatures you want to sleep in, 35 is pretty bad. Kevin, what are you doing? Disassembling mechanoid. I didn't know these guys could be disassembled. Gave you 80 steel and a bunch of plasteel. So it's 43, 44, 35, 35, 41. I think it's fair to say we probably need another cooler. Like, it should be okay in here, because that's relatively small. I think we need a cooler in here. And this should help contribute coolness down this end as well. Um, minor break risk. I'm imagining that the break risk largely boils down to it's fucking hot. Extremely hot. Yeah, it's a minus 15 penalty. But they'll cool down when they get into these rooms, and... Presumably, oh, I mean, it's gonna be real hot in that in that area, Mathis. I don't know if I'd recommend that. Um, but once this uh, once this next cooler gets built, I think that'll make things a little easier on everybody. But in the meantime, it is gonna be oh, that's real bad. That's real bad. Um, our our freezer is not freezing anymore, so things are gonna start to go uh, gonna start to go skunky on us. Is there any? We can't build it here because it's built out of stone. 
So we need to we need to do this very fast. Because we're going to lose all the cold air in here. But it's got to be done. That's got to be mined. And like as soon as it's mined... We're going to need to put... Let, let me put it this way. Yes, it's going to get real hot in there and lots of things are probably going to go bad. There's nothing else we can do about it. They're going to go bad at 40 C. They're going to go bad at 7 C. So I think we just mine it. Um... And Dan is Dan's a miner, so we're gonna have him do this, and then we're gonna have we're gonna construct a a stone wall very very quickly. No, don't clean dirt. Mine is granite. Then we're gonna have you construct a wall made out of marble. Oh, we don't even need you to make the wall made out of marble. What we need you to do is make a cooler, like that. I don't think there needs to be a wall. Because the cooler destroys the wall. Dan's not a good constructor. It's 40 degrees inside of our cooler right now. I would say this is probably suboptimal. The idea is a second cooler can make this happen. You got the steel. Just grab the components. This is why we disassemble mechanoids. These things spoil it. Oh, Dan! These things spoil in a day, so at least the meat does. We can still survive on the veggies for a while if we have to. Temperature should not be 21. Temperature should be like minus five. Now, how low are we going to be able to get it in here? It's <sighs> a great question. Spoils in one. Spoils in two days. So we're getting it down to the level where it's it's we've got double the time before things go terrible. Ooh, zero degrees Celsius. I think it might work. Okay, dope. And our power presumably is gonna hold. I don't know what's going on with this man. Let's reinstall this turret like here and see if it changes things. Maybe, maybe that's the issue. Um, this is minus five inside of our cooler. That's good. We can now make coffee. Um, let's just knock out some simple ones. You know, tube television. Throw away your tail. Okay, um, it's, it's the Red Hot Chili Peppers 2003 album, by the way. Uh, good, we got another cooler installed up here as well. I'm thinking that this is going to be like the nicest heat wave we've ever had. We're going to be able to weather the storm. We are making making clothes. It's not bad. 148 medicine, herbal medicine. We need somebody to get to work on making. Um, Non-herbal medicine. Can we... Can you change the priority of a bill? I don't believe so. So, it requires one herbal medicine, one neutroamine, and three cloth. Well, if that's the problem, then I understand. We have no cloth. We have leather, but no cloth. So, let's, um... It's going to look a little hideous here. Let's set up a growing zone that grows cotton. Cotton gives us cloth. And generally speaking, I think you tend to need not as much space for cloth because it tends to be less like immediately relevant. And we're just going to hope that Mathis, you know, does his job here and, you know, is planting effectively. But in terms of herbal medicine, we're in such a good spot. In fact, what are what are our problems right now? Minor break risks, I'm assuming is because it's hot. Minus five for hotness is nasty, but, you know, life goes on. Um, I think this will be a construction order, but we're just going to issue a smoothing floor order here. And it's going to take a while, but it's going to reduce the criticism of things being, like, hideously ugly. It'll take a hundred years, but that's okay. Mathis should prioritize making this cotton. And um, as a result... I will be happy because we'll be able to actually make medicine. We've gone through the 1,500 steps necessary. Now, Callisti really would have been dope in my eyes if you had chosen to eat at a table. But I understand, you know, sometimes on the go, it's not that easy. Dan is going to harvest this poplar plants. Mad animal. A local, a, lo a, local, a local Ibex ram has gone mad. Uh, it, it should get... Shat on basically. Major break risk on Callisti. It's very hot, and she ate without a table. 
A lot of people would say that's probably, you know, her personal fault, but, you know, I wouldn't say that. I would let you say that instead, so I remain innocent. This thing's fucked. I just hope it doesn't break a gun turret as it's fucked. Sweet. Free meat! Maybe don't touch that muffalo corpse that looks like a bony octopus. Dan is harvested. We have a, an extreme inefficiency here. We keep chopping wood and then not doing anything with it. Dan's doing some cleaning and disturbing sleep as he does best. Can we restrict uh, cleaning or restrict areas at night so that nobody cleans them at night but during the day they get cleaned? Like, Dan will chop wood, but he won't haul the wood back. Even if he just took one stack back... That would be good, but, you know, we'll manually handle that, I guess. That's not just me saying, like, oh, what a bitch. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm probably mishandling this to some extent. We only have one minor break risk. You know what? No, it's 21 in her room. That's actually ideal. We don't want it to be any cooler or any hotter than that. We did start to lose some battery charges, though. We got a lot stored, but um, this is indicative. You know, we were we were at a pretty good balance, I suppose. One wind turbine uh, going down has caused us to maybe fall a little bit behind schedule, which creates a problem for us if there's an eclipse for a day. So we should probably rebuild the wind turbine. Someone should also do something. Oh, you know what? Build the brewery first. It's important. But someone should also, uh... What are you doing, Dan? Harvesting poplar tree? Now just go... Murder this thing so we can get some easy steel. Shouldn't take too, too long. And then we get easy components as a result of that as well. Matt, this is planting heel root. This is important. Heel root is, uh, you know, a necessary... Oh, no. A bug hive. Insect jelly. Hive. Oh, fuck. Um, okay. What do you do about this? That's a great question. I hate, I hate mining. Hey, build your shit in the mountains. No problem. Small problem, though. Uh, how am I going to handle this? I'm going to try to build a gun turret, like right here. And then connect it to the grid. So Kevin, please build this shit, like right now. And if this if this plan fails, we'll just go rest restart it and just throw all of our guns at it. But I would prepare for this to be not very good. We need to build conduits to it as well. But my thinking right now is like, hey, these things aren't attacking us. Maybe we don't need to attack them immediately. Is this 130? Oh, neutral aiming. Now we need to build conduits. I don't care. Build them under the crops, honestly. It's kind of an urgent situation. Hopefully you can get enough steel to finish this. I know, yeah, like, meditating. Important. Don't get me wrong. Probably more important is handling all this shit as soon as possible. Oh my god, they're breaking our, they're breaking our walls? Madness! Imprisoning me! Like, I don't think one gun turret is gonna solve this problem. Kevin has gotten food poisoning from a simple meal. The heat wave is over. Well, that's good news. Um, Hive reproduces in one day, 15 hours. Build the conduits, please. I'm begging you. Cooking simple meal. Callisti, do you construct? She's real bad at it. She's real bad at it. Yo, we need these conduits, though. Dan, do you construct cleaning dirt? Sure, okay, but like, also, please. These all- I'll, I'll micromanage every single fucking one of them, I don't care. 
At this point, I think we've laid the steel. We just require the work. Oh my god, that has that always been empty? You gotta chop the tree! We needed that wood. Okay, great work. Keep it up. Proud of you. Not, not tedious. Might seem tedious, not actually tedious. Looks can be deceiving. Chop this shit down, get zero wood. How much HP do these fuckers have? Mega Scarab. Alright, health. It's, it's only six years old. It's only six years old! I'm awake, presumably. I'm researching. Hey, research is important. Knowledge is power. At the same time, sometimes, like, a gun is power. So, hey, self. If you don't mind. I almost feel like... Once we go through with this... All of our colonists just get grenades. And I'm assuming this turret is going to immediately fire. Which means it's going to immediately aggro. Which means we immediately want... People... To be ready. Otherwise, it's going to go down. Like, this, this shit should be on right now. Apparently, I don't understand how, how gun turrets work. Because, from my perspective, unless we're missing, like, a conduit, this thing is on. Oh, we're missing four conduits, actually. Hey, Mathis, no, like, this is important, I get it, but... Construct, please. I was looking at the interface wrong. No, I get it, yeah, 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 okay, sure. But also, like... It's going! We in this! Everybody's drafted. I think this is a good time for a save, and this is gonna be real save. 027, built the Ark. I'm calling it the Ark because it's supposed to be our saving grace. We got everybody. They're drafted. Get, get in here and fight! Okay. Uh, Kevin, you can just post up behind a tree. Mad, this is a good shooter. Callisti is a... Well, you know what? Just get behind trees. Now shit's gonna get real. One's down. Two down. Why don't you just post up there? It's gotta be faster than this. It's gotta be faster than this. Our turret's got 18 health! Kevin! You, you gotta be- oh my god, you shot Dan right in the chest. You can't hit this thing? Is such a thing even possible? This is bad. Oh god. How the fuck are we gonna get out of this one? The problem is that the hive is still- No, 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 okay, reload, reload. We need to engage in some problem-solving skills here. Yes, spawning all things. I get it. This thing is not fired yet, right? Can I, can I just say, like, hold fire? Hold fire! Okay, they have not aggroed. <laughs> as ridiculous as that seems. Everybody come down here, get into position. At least get ready to get into position. In the meantime, let's also work on maybe surrounding this thing with sandbags. Look, is this the most efficient way to construct this? I'd say that's probably obviously not. Build all this shit out, Kevin, okay? We're gonna reload. And the reason for that is I had these units aggro. The problem, like, we need, maybe we can just build a second turret, and that would really help us out, but I don't know if we have the steel for it. Maybe we could build it out of plasteel? 
We have a, a decent amount of that now. Needs a hundred and hundred and then seventy-five plasteel. Well, we know we have seventy-five plasteel. Tell you what, let's take a look at who's our best constructor. It might be Kevin or Mathis. It's Mathis. Okay, Mathis, you're undrafted. Just see if you can get this other turret going up here ASAP. Everybody else, like, you're also undrafted for now. Everybody should be good to go. And sure, this thing's probably going to reproduce soon. Oh my god, I didn't. Forgive me! Forgive me! I didn't give the order to hold fire, which is what's going to cause a problem here. Tomo, don't you give me that look, buddy! Oh, why are you such an idiot? This is a novel situation. We had the hive before, and it was horrible. Having the hive up before was, was absolutely terrible for us. First things first. Hold fire. Um, security. Security. Plast steel. Right. You know, why don't we just install it one back? As a result, it will all automatically be hooked up to the grid. Mathis is undrafted and getting busy. Everybody else is also undrafted. Now, just don't aggro. It's all I ask. I'm, I'm hopeful that our plasteel turret is going to be a little faster at killing things. Affair. Mathis, married to Varvara, has begun an affair with Callisti, who is also, if I remember correctly... Um, oh, Kevin's ex-wife. Okay. Well, Varvara's not here, so... I guess it could be worse. She could be a colonist, and this could cause some mad drama. Um, man, this is going to get this plasteel. Oh, Callisti's going to get this plasteel. And then haul it. And where did my Mathis go? Great, great idea. I guess that is our closest steel, so it's got to be done. Yo, these, uh, these insects are kind of... They're kind of going for it, you know? Okay, okay. Mental break, hide in room. Dan's hiding in a room, that's okay. Hold fire, hold fire. Okay, that's our timer, but... We got bigger problems. Now everybody needs to get drafted. And I'm just gonna... That's the timer, so if this fails, we're gonna have a hell, the hell of a problem trying to figure out how to make this work. Good to go. Everybody's drafted. Dan will not function. Where are you? But that's okay. Everybody else is drafted. Get down here. Get ready to get down to business. We're fighting... Oh my god. It's it's on. These have to not hold fire anymore. Um, we... Uh, the only thing that matters is distance. So we might as well just keep ourselves far away. Far-ish away. One Mega Scarab down. Plasteel turret has a little bit more HP. Oh, one turret down. Plasteel turret is fucked. Shit. Okay, what do we do now? I guess we all aggro the hive. Or, or maybe I don't aggro the hive for whatever reason? Oh, good. Friendly fire. I mean, I've pretty much brought that on myself, I guess. Colonist needs rescue. What happened to Kalisti? I guess she got shot in the head. Uh, Alright, well, everybody's undrafted. I'm gonna save here and, you know... I think real save 029 fair 
You know, it took me a couple of save scums to get through that, but now we know. Build a bunch of turrets and then deal with them, and that's probably the way to handle it. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.